friends and so today I'm going to do the part 2 of reading some of my old books. Okay, so I got these books when I was in grade 2. Yes, in grade 2. Now I'm in grade 4. <laughs> okay, so let's read it. Okay, so first we are going to read this. Let's choose it. Mm, which one? See which one should I get? Oh, let's do this one. My walk. Okay. It's written by Minnie P. Swami. Once I drew a wall like this. We do it like this. And, but my wall looked empty, so I drew a door on it. I drew a window too. See like this. Then I drew a garden. I drew flowers. I drew grass. I drew a tree. I drew a little bird. A little bird. I drew a beautiful butterfly too. I love my beautiful garden and play with and play there. My flower flowers dance for me, danced for me. My bird sang for me. My butterfly ran a race with me. But soon I felt lonely. I have a party, I thought. So I drew a cake, samosas, potato chips and orange juice. I drew some chairs and a table, a table, glasses and plates. I drew balloons and decorations. I invited my friends. Suddenly, um, wait. And what fun we had. After a while, my friends went home. The party was over and I was lonely again. Suddenly, I knew what to do. I called my mummy and daddy, my little brother and my little, my little brother and my puppy dog. They loved my work. See, here's the wall. And it's the puppy. They loved. They loved to be with me. They were so happy. And so was I. Okay, so it's the end of the story. Okay, so now let's go with the next one. Let's do with Avni and the pea plant. It's written by Shruti Rao and it's illust I mean illustrated by I mean you know it's written by Shruti Rao and it's oh that is and it's illustrated by Tipa Smriti Das Gupta. So now let's start the story. One day, Agni was sitting at the kitchen table, watching her mother cook. Amma got the cooker ready. Agni, please give me, please give me the peas. Amma said. Agni took a bowl of dried peas from the kitchen table and gave it to Agni. Amma, I mean Amma. One pea fell out of the bowl. Agni and Amma. Did not see it. Here's the pea rolling on the table. The pea bounced on the table onto the floor and rolled under the table. Chicky the cat found it. She purred and at it. She tried to lick it. The pea rolled to the kitchen door. Chicky pushed it again. It rolled out. On, into the garden. Amina saw the pea. She pegged and she pegged at it with her pea. But it was too hard. She pegged at it again. With a jump, the pea landed on the, on the soil near a tomato plant. An earthworm popped out of the ground. It looked at the pea but did not find, find it interesting. It popped back in, into the ground. 
Now there was a hole in the ground. The pea slipped on the hole and got covered with loose mud. It rested in the cool, dark mud. The days passed, the rains came. The pea got wet. It swelled and it swelled a little more. It grew a tail and a crown. The crown shot out of the ground and tried to reach for the sun. It grew taller and taller and taller. Very tall, right? Agni saw it when she was playing in the garden. Amma, look! Amma, look here! She said. A pea plant, said, said Amma. Both of them looked at the pea plant. They were surprised. Did you plant it? Amma asked Agni. No, Amma, did you? Did you not sow it? Asked Agni. Then who did it? They wondered. Who planted it? Okay, so that's the end of the story. They didn't know the who was that. But you and I know, don't we? Okay, so that's the end of the story. Now, the next story, the last and final story is a great king. It's Sumiti Sudhakar and illustrated by Subira Roy. Tara was bored. Let's play, Amma, she said. Yes, let's play, said Amma. She tied a scarf over Tara's eye. Now tell me, what do I hold in my hand? Asked Amma. What do I Now tell me, what do I hold in my hand? Said Amma. How can I? Asked Tara. My eyes are closed. You can, said Amma. Try it. Uh, you can, said Amma. Try it. Amma took a rose in her hand. What do you, what do I hold? She asked. Tara touched it. It's a flower. She said. Yes, said Amma. But what flower is it? Smell it. Tara sniffed it. It's a rose. She cried. She took off the scar. Tara looked ahead. One She cried. Good, said Amma. Now what do I hold? She had a rattle. She shook it hard. I know, said Tara with joy. It's a, it's a, it's my old rattle. I can hear it, Amma. Smart girl, said Amma. Then Amma took a glass. What is it? Do you know? She said. Tara touched it. It's a glass. She said. She puts her finger into the glass of water. Are you sure? Asked Amma. It could be milk or juice. Tara tasted it. Hey! She cried. It's no water. It's not water. It's orange juice. Amma laughed. Now I will remove your scarf. You must tell me what is in front of you, she said. Took off the scarf. Tara looked. Looked ahead. It's you, Amma, she, sh she shouted with joy. I see you, Amma said. You see with your eyes, you hear with your ears, you smell with your nose, you taste with your tongue. You touch with, with your skin. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin tell you all about the world. That was a great game. Amma said. That was a great game. Amma said Tara. Okay, so and that was a great story. Wasn't it? Okay, so the, that's the end of the video.
and please like if the if you like these stories and please share this video so they can so your friends to your friends so they can also hear these stories and subscribe to Myra's Life Myra's Fun. Bye!